What's going on guys, it is your boy Angry Say Gamer. I'm over here on the Android server on my main account and today we're gonna do treasure mining. So I don't know yet what the thumbnail is gonna look like but as you've seen from the thumbnail, we're doing treasure mining and it clearly states every player can have multiple pickaxes. You will receive one pickaxe for every 300 gems you spend. Now let's take a look at the gem count. 208,000, okay, so 210, I'm gonna roll 200,000, so that's 660, something like that, that's a lot of pickaxes, well, whatever the thumbnail said, so, um, what am I gonna spend the gems on, though, definitely not Hero Collector, because I can roll an engineer, that I can do, I don't need to dry it, um, Cinder Matron, probably not. Spiriter for the hammers, mm, no. Gelatinous champions for these things, definitely not. So we are definitely gonna do trait rolling session. What are we gonna do traits on though? That's the question. Now I need to, I need to figure out who I have, my main legends. So Lazulex is obviously one of my main guys. I use him a lot, he's six to six. Where are we short? You see, we are short over here, not only over here, but what I can do is I can spend a couple of gems by rolling 1950s for crit resist. And hopefully getting a five star crit resist. Now it is only 200,000 gems, so you can't roll that many 1950s with two, 200,000 gems. You just can't. And can we get a crit resist is the question. And I still want to do the pickaxe event. So I uh, don't want the video to be too long. A four crit resist. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll over that because my entire plan is to roll five of fives. As we got it. Now, I'm not going to roll on this side. I've got, oh, I've got 286 cards. Okay. So, I can. <laughs> definitely can. But seeing as we are... Uh, let's go for a 5 dodge. Seeing as this is for gem rolling, I'm not going to waste my time on doing traits specifically. Uh, superior traits. Come on, give me that 5 dodge, baby. Now, getting these ones all 5-star is relatively easy. Not cheap, but relatively easy. Getting the superior side at the double that you want on this side. Now, there's the conundrum, the dilemma, the problem, the issue, the problem, child of note. Oh, we got it. Quite easy. Not too bad. Accuracy shouldn't be too hard to get. Honestly, we're already 50k gems in, and we got two five stars that we needed for 50k gems. So that just goes to show how difficult this is, or how expensive this is. There's a dodge and a crit resist. How about an accuracy, boys? For attack, come on. There's the accuracy. Okay, so that this is going relatively well. The real fox. Now, this guy, I'm going to change completely. I don't want this. So, we're going to do an entire early session on him. Hang on. The problem is, what can I get? It's either dodge or accuracy. Either one. So, I'm going to roll until I get a double five star of what I need. And then I'm going to do the other side. So hang on. Isn't that lucky? Not that many cards. I've got 246 left. So double dodge it is. Can we get all dodge? Two five stars to begin with. 150, 165, two there's another one. See quickly. Down to the 1950s. 
Don't be too expensive. Crit resist, yes. Two star attack. Come on. Five star dodge. Five star dodge. Got 88,000 gems left. I want to stop on 10k gems. I want to leave myself with 10,000 gems. Come on. Five star HP. There's the five star dodge. Got him. <coughs> Seven to seven, nice. Okay, but real fox is pretty much maxed out. I'm gonna do jump bear, but I will do bloody mare. Uh, okay, yeah, let's lock all of these. Leave that five star over there. Get a quick five star attack on this one. There is a five star attack. That did not take too long. Commodora, what are you looking like? Oh, you've got full attack. He needs accuracy. He's got accuracy. Pull a couple. See the first act we get. Oh my gosh. How lucky is that? Now let's get a five star act on this side. Five star. Damn it, man. Okay, I'll leave it there. Got it. Couple of seven seven legends out of that wasn't too bad of a session. <laughs> what do we get for treasure mining though? Six eighty five. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is something something. A little bit of a something something. I'm gonna screenshot that by the way. Bloop. Now I need to think of the thumbnail. But let's start mining. We can go fives all the way. How long does it take us to get any keys? There we've got a bronze key. We've got a silver key. We, how, wait, we had 20, so that's 25 rolls already. 25 rolls and got bronze and silver, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 rolls. No gold key yet. 55, 60, nothing. Nothing. 70 rolls in. There we get it. 70 rolls in. We got all the keys. Now we can just spam and see how much um, stuff we get out of this. Final one. There we go. I wonder what the mailbox is looking like. I have no idea, but I'm excited to see it. Oh yeah, we need to do... Okay, wait, before we do that. So the mailbox only got 60 in it. So let's claim this. There's... M oh my gosh, look at the mailbox filling up again. It was 60 stuff in there. And that is what it looks like now. 33 again. And it's a bunch of nonsense. It's chests and powders. So what all do you get? Do you only get chests and powders? Nothing else? Like soul stones and stuff? It doesn't seem like it. Treasure mining. Treasure. Oh, what the hell am I doing? There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So we got this Prime Hero Card Valiant Box Igniting Stone Chest 1 times 2. Okay. For this one, we have Official Event Hero Card Event Coin times 10. Super Pet Snacks 400. Title Badges 150. And then for this one, we get you have Prime Hero Card 4 Battle Monkey Crystal um, Comic Rock 4. 6 times 2, Comic Rock 5 times 15, Magic Powder times 200. Nice. So let's claim all of this. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 
magic powders. Okay, so total magic powders. Okay, wait. Total chests. Let's see this. Um, not that many. We do have this yellow card. Let's see if we can get a um, a ripper probably from this one. Use four. Plant warrior. Got six of these cards. The last time I opened it, I did get a uh, rambard. Ach, uh, Rune Master. Not this time. Out of six cards. And then mostly hot shots. Out of this. Two hot shots, two bloody medias, one rambard this time. Which usually rambards are the one you get the most of. And then we got that. And then the chests. So I'm not going to worry about opening the chest. We've got 34 level 10 insignia bags. Let's open them. I've got way too many of these things in any way. Uh, okay, so let's check out Floating Isle. Put me up there. Let's see how many powders I got. Floating Isle. Yes. Do my free spell. That's it. 222. There we go. Spam that. Hopefully I get, um, or not hopefully I get, I don't think I will get, but close to a couple, at least a couple of uh, Alpha Mech Thingus's Soul Stones. 18 chests, none of the Valent boxes, Valentine boxes, but that's okay. Ooh, how far are we from Alpha Mech? 80. It's not bad, we need 120 more Soul Stones for Alpha Mech. And then Ruin Master, 177, 80 of Cinder Morton, and the rest, yeah, well, it is what it is. That is going to be it for this video, boys and girls. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Wait, before I do that, apparently, Yellow Exchange, we can exchange for Rosaline. You can exchange for that. You can exchange for a Veined Yellow card. That's not bad. A level one and wow. Hmm. That's not bad at all. That's if you have a Cosma and a Plant Warrior there. Storm Eater and a Serena. This is all level ones. None of them have to be leveled up. Wow. A ninja and a Pally. Damn, okay. That's going to be it for this video, boys and girls. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.